tonight we're going to be going over uh, adding and subtracting mixed numbers. As we know, mixed numbers are nothing more than whole numbers mixed with fractions, whether those fractions are like or unlike fractions, uh, we will determine. So I'm going to do number 21. I'm going to do the odds. You'll do the evens. First, we have 8 and 3 eighths. Well, we really know that 8 plus 3 eighths. plus 10 and one-third, or should I say 10 plus one-third. Now we're adding these, so right off the bat we know that 8 plus 10 is going to be 18. So let's just put that, start of that uh, uh, for our answer, 18. Now we have to figure out 3 eighths and one-third. Well, to figure that out, we have to go ahead and determine what is the lowest common denominator. I can tell right now that it's going to be 24. So basically, we're going to be multiplying uh, 3 over 8 to 3 over 3. That'll give us the denominator of 24. But whatever I multiply to the bottom, I have to multiply to the top. So 3 times 3 is 9. Now let's go ahead and try this one. We got 1 third, and to make the denominator 24, we'll have to multiply 3 times 8. If I multiply the bottom by 8, I have to be willing to multiply the top by 8. And 1 times 8 is 8. For those who still find this confusing, remember, we're only allowed to multiply numbers by 1 because any number multiplied by 1 is itself. The form of 3 over 3 and 8 over 8 are forms of 1. Why? Because every fraction is really a division problem. So what I have is 3 divided by 3, which equals 1. 8 divided by 8, which equals 1. Now we have the two like fractions. 9 over 24 plus 8 over 24. And as we can see, 9 plus 8 is going to equal 17. So our answer equals 17 over 24. Remember, that was just the fractions that we did there. The whole number is up here. We have to bring this fraction up here with the whole number in order to get our final answer. So our final answer would be 18 and 17 over 24. And that will be our answer for number 21. All right, we're going to go and try to do number 23 next. Number 23 has 3 and 2 sevenths plus 4 and 3 sevenths. Well, I know that 3 plus 4, remember if we break this up, this is going to be 3 plus 2 over 7 plus 4 plus 3 over 7. Well, 3 plus 4 is 7. And we know if our denominator is the same, we're allowed to go ahead and just add our numerator. Well, 2 plus 3 is 5. So the answer to number 23 will be 7 and 5 over 7s. All right, let's try to work on number 25 next. We have 12 and 1 half minus 6 and 5 eighths. Well, once again, we know that this is really 12 minus 6. 12 minus 6 is going to give us 6. Now we have to subtract these fractions as well. Well, I know that 2 goes into 8 four times. So I can go ahead and say that I'm going to multiply 1 half by 4 over 4. Remember, 4 over 4 is actually 1, because 4 divided by 4 is 1. Now, 1 times 4 equals 4. And 2 times 4 equals 8. So we have the new form of 1 half, which is 2 over 8. We're going to subtract 4 over 8, okay, uh, minus 5 over 8. 
And now we come into our little situation. We know that 4 minus 5 is negative 1. So what we have here is negative 1 over 8. This is why it's kind of a situation. We want a number here, but we know now we're subtracting, because we didn't get a negative number here, we're subtracting 1 8 from 6. So if I had to subtract it from 6, I have to take 6 and realize I have to make it add to 1. This is now, 6 is going to turn into 5 plus 8 over 8. Why? Because 8 over 8 is 1. And 5 plus 1 will give us 6. Well, now we're going to subtract 1 eighth from there, right? And if we do, we know that 8 over 8 minus 1 over 8 will give us 7 over 8. So our final answer is going to be 5 and 7 eighths. And that is our final answer. All right, let's go ahead and work on number 27. It says here, Emerald uses a total of 7 and 1 fourth cup of flour to make three pastries, three of them. He uses, uh, he used, excuse me, 2 and 1 fourth cup of flour for the first and 2 and 1 third cup for the second. How much flour did Emerald use for the third pastry? Well, Let's go ahead and work the first one first. This is really subtracting, right? We're going to subtract these two fractions or mixed numbers uh, from 7 and 1 4. But I see on our first one, there's a 4 in the denominator of each of these. So the first one's going to be pretty easy. I've got uh, 7 and 1 4 minus 2 and 1 4. Well, we know that 7 minus 2 is 5, and 1 fourth minus 1 fourth, well, that's 0. So our answer is going to be 5 for this first two mix of numbers we're combining. But now we have uh, 2 and 1 third that we're going to subtract from 5. Let's work that down here. 5 minus 2 and 1 third. Well, in order to know that, we're going to have to borrow 1. Uh, a fraction from 5. 5 could be rewritten as 4 plus 3 over 3. Remember, 3 over 3 is 1. So I'm saying 4 plus 1 equals 5. Now we're going to subtract that from 2 and 1 third. I'm sorry, we're going to subtract 2 and 1 third from 4 plus uh, 3 over 3. Well, we know 4 minus 2 is going to equal 2. And 3 thirds minus 1 third, well, the denominator is the same, so we keep the denominator the same. And 3 minus 1 is 2. So our answer is going to be 2 and 2 thirds cup. And there's our answer. And... Before we do number 29, let's sneak a code word in. The code word that I'm going to use today is, hmm, oh, here we go. Roasted. Garlic. Triscuits. All right. So there's our code word for the day. And now I'm going to get rid of it. So anyone just trying to go through the video without actually watching the whole thing will never know what it was. And for the good little girls and boys who went ahead and watched the video, you'll know exactly where it was. All right, number 29. Find the perimeter of the figure. Write your answer in simplest form. The figure, the perimeter of the figure. First of all, the perimeter is the, co the uh, combined total of the outside. All right, so if we want to know the figure, 
the perimeter of this figure, we have to add all the outsides together. We've got two and three eighths plus two and three eighths plus two and three eighths. So let's try that. Two and three eighths plus two and three eighths plus two and three eighths. Now we can remember that two plus two plus two is going to equal six. Now we have to combine uh, our numerators because our denominators are all the same. We know that's going to be the same, eight. And now we say three plus three plus three, well, that's nine. Here's our problem. we got an improper fraction. We know that eight goes into nine one time, right, with one left over. Remember, every fraction is really a division problem. This is 9 divided by 8. So in all actuality, 8 goes into 9 one time, and then there's a remainder of 1, and that 1 left over can be put over 8. So 9 over 8 actually equals uh, 1 and 1 over 8. But we're going to add all this to 6. Well, we got 1 plus 6, that's 7. And uh, that leaves us 1 eighth left over. So our answer would be 7 and 1 eighth. All right? And I'm leaving all the evens for you, so my job is done. Hope you have a great night, and see you in class.